Hello everybody, I'm Gloria Copeland. I'm happy today. I've already heard some good word. Pastor George has been preaching to me about the wealth transfer. I believe the Word of God. That's right. Pastor That's George, right. this is super. We're all ears. It is exciting. It's and, important. You know, it is important, especially right now in the time that we are in. Things The, the world's are, hollering it, lack it, and yeah. problems oh my and goodness. trouble. And the Word says, you got it. Yeah. You're blessed. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. And we're, I'm receiving the Word. Well, we're of talking God. about, Gloria, 10 days of supernatural wealth transfer. And we're looking at scriptures, we're looking at words from the Lord, from Brother Copeland, Brother Caps. Uh, in a day or so, we're going to be talking about some things that Pastor Bill Winston has talked about. Yes. We need to have this, we need to know this, and we need to exercise our faith right. on this benefit, this covenant benefit that belongs to we us. We need to look up. Yes, we do. And we need to enlarge our vision That's and right. enlarge our capacity to receive everything that God enlarge has for us. Enlarge the place us. of our tent. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and let that tent just grow oh, and grow yeah. and grow. Amen. Praise God. I'm well, like it. Just, just as a couple of review things here to talk to you about, there was a word from the Lord that Brother Copeland gave in Branson last year at the Branson meeting at Keith and Phyllis Moore's church. And he said, the largest, most significant transfer of property, goods, wealth, and people from the hands of the devil into the hands of God's people that are prepared to receive it I'm telling you, it's the biggest transfer of property in the history of mankind. It's just begun and it's moved over into its final stage. We are Praise now, God. we are now in the final stages Fruition. Glory of to this, God. this wealth transfer that's greater now, than what we've seen. That, when? that was last year at the, the victory campaign in, in Branson. Branson. And we've got another victory campaign coming up there at Keith and Phyllis's yes. church in just a, a couple of it. months from now. And <clears throat> it's just such a, a word that we need to stand on. We have to stand on these things, Gloria. We can't just say, oh, that's nice. Well, words from the Lord are just like words from the Lord. That's right. These are words from that's the Lord. That's right. And they have to be received in faith and believe. They have to be taken. They have to be taken. And then that brings them to pass in your and life. And that's exactly what we're doing in these 10 days. Amen. We are we are immersing ourselves in wealth transfer, getting you immersed in what more from the kingdom of heaven that belongs to mm -hmm. you. Now, all of these notes are available on kcm.org. All you have to do is Preach go to the homepage. Preach them to your page. family, your church. Yeah, click onto the homepage. You can download these. You can print them out. Use them over and over again. Use yes. them as a teaching tool to your family, to your church, in your ministries. Let the Lord begin to build on the inside of you a greater capacity yes. of receiving. Receiving, that's right. What belongs to Thank us. Thank you, Pastor George, for giving us this wealth, this wealth ability. Praise here. God, the wealth the ability. Of, wealth ability. <laughs> that is a word I've never heard before, Gloria. I like it. You wealth better, ability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody write that down. Wealth, wealth ability. We, have, we need to add that to the Gloria Copeland Dictionary. <laughs> wealth ability. <laughs> I like that. Well, I like that. Now, I the like word it. from the Lord that we've been studying is Charles Capp's word from February of 1978. February of 1978, wealth transfer. And let's just read this quickly and we'll go on with our study. Okay. Financial inversion shall increase in these days. It's increasing in my life. Inversion, it's increasing turning in your, upside down. The inversion is the turning upside down. For you see, it is my desire to move in the realm of your financial prosperity. But release me saith yeah. the Lord, Turn release me that I may come in on your behalf and move on your behalf. For oh, yes, yeah. there shall be in this hour financial distress here and there. The economy shall go up and it will go down. But those that learn to walk in the word, Praise they shall God. see the prosperity of the word come forth in this yes, hour right. in a way that has not been seen by men in days past. That's right. Glory Everything that we're reading, Gloria, from the Old Testament, that's days past. past. That's right. What yes. we're talking about here is seeing the prosperity of the word come forth in this hour in a way that it has not been seen by men in days past. There's, there is coming a financial inversion in the world system. And there's been some humongous wealth transfers. There has been, Damn. and it's getting bigger. But nothing <clears throat> likes happening today. 
According exactly. to this word for exactly. the Lord, I believe it. I receive it. I take it. it. Me too. It has been held in reservoirs of wicked men for days on end. But the end is nigh. Those reservoirs shall be tapped and shall be drained into the gospel of Jesus Christ. It shall be done, saith the Lord, and it shall be done in a time allotted so that that it'll be by the word of the Lord, it'll, it'll come to pass that the word that says the wealth of the sinner shall be laid up, up for, for the, the just. just. Glory to God. So we've been just attacking this word at all different angles over the last days that we've been talking about this. this and today right. we're going to talk about another form of wealth transfer, and that is transferring it from the enemy's camp. I like that. Transfer from the enemy's camp. And you know where I got this, Gloria? Where? From you. <laughs> I was Hallelujah. listening Hallelujah. I was listening to a, a message that you were preaching um, <clears throat> from a series that you did called Days of Heaven on Earth. Yes, how long ago was CD that? CD number preached? five, it was 1996 that you 96. preached it. Well, it's about time you listened, George. <clears throat> I know, I know. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we, we well, need to great. take a look at this in 2 Kings chapter 7. 2 Kings chapter 7, we're talking about wealth transfer from the enemy's camp. Yes, there is confusion in the seven. world system. And they are going to be doing in the days to come exactly what was done here. There is confusion so much in the world yeah. system, they're just yeah. going to drop it and you run. You can see that already. Yeah, exactly. And they're going to drop it and they're going to run. And we're going to pick it up in the same way. Now, <clears throat> I'm not saying that we are the lepers, but in the same way that Thank these you. people, <laughs> because we're healed and delivered. Yeah. So let's take a look at this in 2 Kings chapter 7, starting in verse 3. Now, verse 3 says, There were four leprous men at the entering of the gate. And they said one to another, Why sit here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city and we shall die there. And if we sit here, we die also. Now, <clears throat> therefore come... I can see come, why they got leprosy. <laughs> they have no they, faith. Either way, they're they, going to die. They were really <laughs> messed up in their thinking. <laughs> now, therefore, come and let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall die. And they rose up in the twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost parts of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and the noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to the other, Lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the king of the Hittites and the king of the Egyptians to come unto us. Wherefore they arose and they fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses and even the camp as it was, and they fled for their life. And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried thence silver and gold and raiment and went and they hid it and came again. They came into another tent and carried thence also and went and they hid it. Now what was happening here, Gloria, was that these lepers decided to go into the Syrian camp. They were double-minded about where they were going to die. So they thought, They're well, gonna we'll go there. We'll, we're going to die one way or the other. So when they got to the camp, nobody was there. It was completely empty. And what happened was there was a supernatural noise of chariots that was created by the Lord. There was a noise that the Syrians heard that caused them to run from that camp. And they ran yeah. and they left everything there. Everything was left in the camp. And so <clears throat> these lepers, they ate, they drank, and they took the gold, the silver, and the clothes. And the whole point of this being, Gloria, is that we are to take the spoil from the enemy's camp. And the Lord, there is a, there's a confusion in the world. We've seen it. We've observed it. We have watched it on television. And this yeah. confusion, yeah. it's getting worse and worse and worse. So why do we sit here until we go broke? Yeah, exactly. What we need to we be need doing to take it. and going out there the in the same way that they did and go and yeah. take the results of the That's confusion right. that is out there. Now, wow. Gloria, if you would look at page two here, 
There's another word from the Lord given by Charles Caps, and the reason I got this word is because you were preaching it on that message that you taught from the, the kingdom of God, days of heaven on earth, and in it, you began to quote this word from Charles. Before I listened to that CD, I had never heard this before. You hadn't? Mm -mm. Thank you, Charles, for the good word from the Lord. I had never heard this word before. And so, I don't know, Gloria, it may be the first time that it has been read before an audience since 1996 when you first preached it. <laughs> it may be. So let's look at it. Okay, let's, let's take a look it. at I it. I like it already. <clears throat> so shall it be as it was in that day, speaking about the lepers in 2 Kings 7, that confusion shall come into the world of the wicked. Mm -hmm. For they have sought their own ways yeah. and they've walked in their own purposes. They have gained and hoarded up and kept from the gospel that which we, that they have prospered. Mm -hmm. But right. in the days to come, the days are changing and the ways are changing. So we're in a time right now that we're seeing things change. And the ways are changing. <clears throat> it shall be so that confusion shall be on every hand. Wow, that is today. The monetary system shall be disturbed. Men shall look here and shall look there looking for an answer, but they shall not find it. Now that's where we are right now. Hmm. We're experiencing that right now. There is confusion, confusion on every hand and that's why it's so important that during these times we continue to do what we talked about on yeah. the Tuesday broadcast of last week. We give the Word of God first, first place. place. It is never, the Word's never confused. It's never confused. And if you're on the Word and you're thinking on the Word, you won't be confused. That's right. I'm going to stay with the Word. And the second thing we talked about on that broadcast was we give the word, we make it final authority yeah, in our right. lives. That's right. As the book of Proverbs tells us, wisdom is the principal thing. That's right. And when there is wisdom, there is no confusion. That's right. So That's as good, we, George. As we continue to stand on the word mm -hmm. and believe God and exercise our faith for this wealth transfer, even in the midst of confusion, whenever there is confusion all around, there is clarity in the life of the believer. That is true. God is never confused. We, that's right. There is no confusion and in Him. if we walk with Him, we won't be confused. God is not the author of confusion. No. But He has to be first place. He has to be he first place. He has to be the one we listen to. If we listen about halfway to Him and halfway to the world, it doesn't work. That's right. we got to just go all out for God, obey Him. That's right. Do and what so He says. It goes on to say here, Let's see, it shall, be, it shall be so that confusion shall be on every hand. The monetary system shall be disturbed. Men shall look here and shall look there looking for an answer, but they mm -hmm. shall not find it. So shall it be in these days that have come, that, and so shall it be in these that have come and spoiled the yes. camp. Shall the men in this day walk in the midst of confusions that there shall be in the day in which you live. So it, what he's saying here, Gloria, is in the same way that back in 2 Kings, the lepers went into that camp. There was confusion enough yeah. where they left, the enemy left, and they dropped everything. It's going to be the same wow. way today. You can see that. Today. Praise <clears throat> God. They shall believe for and receive the direction of the world, the Lord. They shall flee their possessions. They shall flee it, drop it here and drop it there because they hear of that which is coming like the Syrians mm -hmm. that fled from the camp and that have left their goods. They will release it and they will let it go. So that's what's happening in the world economy system, system Glory. It is, it, there is such confusion out there that they like the Syrians are going to drop their goods because of the confusion and run and leave it. Fear. They'll leave fear and they'll leave it for us because it says here, but as the Christians pick it up, it will not be so. The Christians won't be confused. Then they will flourish and it will prosper. So they'll pick up opportunities and it'll work. Where it didn't yes. work with the ungodly, now it's going to work with the believers. That's exactly right. With the right. godly. You know, you just... Because we have a covenant. You just said something there that I, I want to make sure that we, we get. You said they'll pick up opportunities. Yeah. They will pick, we will pick up opportunities pick up that the opportunities. world has missed mm -hmm. because of the confusion 
that is out there. Amen. We, we will pick up those opportunities. There'll be opportunities for people to begin businesses. There'll be opportunities for yeah, people yeah. to enter into ministries. Yes. There'll be opportunities that will be dropped by the world because they'll be such a, in such a state of confusion and disarray and <clears throat> the, the, their equilibrium will be off that we'll see it clearly. Amen. Amen. I receive that. I receive that too. It That's, will come to pass, it says. It will come to pass as the Christians pick it up. So we have to pick it up. We will flourish and we will prosper. It will come to pass that you will see the work of the, the word of the Lord at work. And the power of God will be set in the earth in a day in which men will stand in awe. For the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Hallelujah. It is time, says the Lord, that it find its way into the hands of the just. And so shall the gospel be preached throughout the land. Walk in my precepts, for you shall hear with the ear a little at a time, and I will reveal a little at a time. So shall you know that day that it will come. So walk in my precepts mm -hmm. and it will be done. Somebody might say, well, that's not fair. It's fair. You can switch sides. You That's can make right. Jesus the yeah. Lord of your life yes. right now, and you yes. can be in those that pick up. Hallelujah. That's exactly right. Glory to That's God. Exactly it's right. your choice. It's our choice. I choose to go God's way. Yes. So, Gloria, in wow. the same way that those lepers Very went into that enemy camp, and the enemy camp, there was a confusion that was created around mm -hmm. them, and they, they left and they dropped everything, and those lepers fear. picked it, had it up. To be, the it was fear. It had to be fear. Yeah. yeah. They, they left, and they left all their goods. And I'm seeing it happen. I am seeing, I am seeing this. I'm endeavoring to see it in my spirit. I'm endeavoring to mm -hmm. see it in my heart. That entire, I'll say it, entire corporations will drop it and let it go. I they'll, they'll be in such a panic that they'll say, I've got to get somebody to take this. I've got somebody to take this over. Even to, even to the degree that, <clears throat> that they'll look for somebody and they'll cut the price of it down so much that it will be astounding. It'll be absolutely astounding as, as to how much we as the believers can buy or get things, yeah. or as the, the book of Isaiah tells us, come buy without money. Come buy without money, that's right. Come get my, it without my, money. My, my, George, that's awesome, isn't it? So we have to learn how to pick up what the enemy has left, to pick that back up. Now, there's one scripture here I wanted us to take a look when, at. When, uh, when you pick it up, when a believer picks it up, the blessing will be on it. Yes, it will. It might be cursed yeah. when it got on the ground, but when yeah. you pick it up, it's blessed. Ah. You know, as, I, as I'm thinking about this right now, I am, I'm endeavoring to see it. I'm endeavoring to believe it in a way that we've never seen it nor have we believed it before. To see things come to us. Mm -hmm. See things come to us. This ministry has been responsible for really a wealth transfer into the lives of other ministries yeah. just by the mere fact of the aircraft that have been given. 30 plus aircraft have been either sewn into other ministries or finances uh, in excess of $100,000 has been given into other ministries. There has been, other ministers have experienced a wealth transfer yes, through this ministry. <laughs> it's something that has been delivered to them into their hands. And it really is stunning. Gloria, it's, I have been there. You've been there, haven't you, George? I've been there on several of those occasions. I know you've been on most of them, but I was there on several of them when airplanes were sewn into the lives of other ministries to watch their faces and to see them Praise light God. up and to see the goodness of God. And we're going to see that more and more, Gloria. We're going to see that. I believe we're going to see that in churches. And I'm talking to pastors right now. There is going to be in your church, in the enemy's camp, because of the confusion, they're going to drop stuff and you're going to go pick it up. 
Go pick it up. Get in the car and go pick it up. Go get it. Cast your bread on the water and after many days. It'll come back. It will return. It will return. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm just, I'm seeing that, Gloria, and I'm getting a vision and an image. What do we need here at Kenneth Copeland Ministries? What do we need to accomplish the vision that we have here? I'm calling it in. Amen. I'm calling Amen. in. Seeds in the ground. I'm calling in what belongs to the enemy. I am calling it into this ministry. I'm calling it into my church. I'm calling into my, I'm calling it into my household. And it doesn't belong to, the, to them. It belongs to the church. That's right. Now they may have it. So we're calling for it. And just like the Jesus Egyptians name. said, take it and go. Take Here, it take it. Go. Take it. Get we don't out, want it. Get out of our sight. Get out of our sight. <laughs> this, we're going to take it and go. Before long, the church is going to get out of here. That's right. We're going we're gonna to leave all that stuff. They won't know what to do with it, but we're going to be gone. That's right. To be absent from the bodies, to be present, present with, with the, the Lord. Lord. Praise Hallelujah. God. One way or the other. Gloria, let me read to you one more scripture in the moments that we have left together. This is from 2 Chronicles 20, 25 in the Amplified. You know the story. When Jehoshaphat and his people came to take the spoil, they found among them much cattle. Much cattle. Much. Much. Very important word. Much. Much cattle, goods, garments, and precious things which they took for themselves, more than they could carry away. So that? much that they were three days gathering That's the abundance. spoil. <clears throat> and on the fourth day, they assembled in the valley of Barak, and there they blessed the Lord. Uh -huh. So the name of the place is still called the Valley of Blessing. Hallelujah. Isn't that awesome? So that's part of the blessing, Gloria. Amen. Taking from the enemy what rightfully belongs to us, that we do just like the lepers did. We go into that camp, they left. we pick I it mean, up, that and was we just take there. it. They didn't even have to take it. It was on the ground. It was there. It was sitting. It it's was waiting. It's there for the taking, isn't it? Glory to God. It's there. So we take the blessing. We take the goods. We take not, we're not taking it from anybody. The lepers didn't take it from anybody. Nope. It was just there. They left it. Glory to God. <laughs> you know, the Word wow. of God works. If you're not a sower, if you're not a tither, you need to make a change. You need to get on God's system. That's right. That's what gets God involved in your business, in your affairs. Uh, you, you, get, you worship Him with your tithes, your offerings, your blessing. And I'm not receiving an offering today. I'm just <laughs> telling you some information. But, but it works. We've been sowing and giving and living abundantly for all these years. We'll be right back. The scripture says this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. There ain't nothing in the world order faith won't overcome. Come to a Kenneth Copeland Ministries event. The 2013 Branson Victory Campaign, March 7th through 9th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland at Faith Life Church, Branson, Missouri. The 2013 Canada Victory Campaign, May 9th through 11th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland at Hershey Center in Ontario, Canada. The 2013 Southwest Believers Convention, July 1st through 6th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and their special guests in Fort Worth, Texas. The 2013 Washington, D.C. Victory Campaign, November 14th through 16th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland at the Hilton Memorial Chapel in Woodbridge, Virginia. For more information, go to kcm.org slash events. God has a plan. He's building a new foundation, opening windows of possibilities, and is ready to help you with a complete makeover of your finances. God has a blueprint for you to be blessed to be a blessing. The Days of Prosperity Volume 2 package will help you achieve financial peace, security, and prosperity now and in the future. In this second volume of 50 teachings, Gloria Copeland and George Pearson show you how to receive the prosperity God has always had in His plan for you and your family. For 50 days, be transformed by God's abundant love and tap into His unlimited resources. You can live in the kingdom of heaven now. Let this DVD set and study notes show you how to handle the blessing and the wealth that belong to you. 
Now is the time for your days of prosperity. Live in God's provision for you this year and demonstrate the generosity and love of the Heavenly Father to others. Order the Days of Prosperity Volume 2 package today for only $35 and enjoy a savings of over 25%. This package contains 50 messages by Gloria Copeland and George Pearsons that'll help you become God's agent of blessing in the earth. Go to kcm.org slash TV special or call or write to us today. For an additional 10% off, order your copy online. Continue to receive the truths of God's word from this extensive prosperity seminar. Order today. I am so excited about this offer that we have. Gloria, this is just something that the Lord has given to us to give Praise to the God. body of Christ. Amen. 50 Days of Prosperity, Volume 2. So with Volume 1 and Volume 2, that makes 100 Days of Prosperity. You cannot stay broke. You can't stay broke listening to that. You believe it and act on it. And, and my vision for this, the dream that I had for this, is for people to be able to have <clears throat> the very broadcast that we've taught just as we're teaching mm -hmm. here and then <clears throat> the companion notes that go right along with it. Oh, yeah. So you can you can pull out one of the, the DVDs, you can put it in and then awesome. follow right along with us the notes that we're teaching on that day. And you can learn. And it works. And it does work. You can learn, you can grow, you can, you can become developed in this. All, all of the major scriptures, the key thoughts, the words from the Lord that we've been talking about on these broadcasts, these are available right here. So I right. highly encourage you to get these. And your feelings wouldn't be hurt if people preached it, would they? Just take it. Take, take it and go. Take it on the road. Have your own. Pastors, <laughs> I invite you to have your very own prosperity yes. seminar at your church and use this as a syllabus. Actually, George, I'm going to preach some of those. <laughs> well, you go right <laughs> I'm going to take it and go. <laughs> take it and go. Glory to God. You know, speaking of the Word of God, the Branson Victory Campaign is coming up and oh, what a that meeting a that meeting. is. Keith and Phyllis Moore, March 7th through the 9th in Branson, Missouri, Faith Life Church. We yeah, love Keith and Phyllis, don't we? That's a place of revelation. It really is. You just step into it. When, well, they're already there, preached up and ready to go with Oh, my you. goodness. I'm telling you. It's a powerful, powerful yeah. meeting. I'll be there. You'll be there. We'll all be there for it. Praise God. And I'm right. excited about we've got coming up tomorrow, we're going to be talking about two ways of wealth transfer. But until then, this is Pastor George and Gloria saying to you, Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Thank you for joining us today on the Believer's Voice of Victory. For more information on Kenneth Copeland Ministries, go to our website at kcm.org. While online, you'll discover a resource of faith-based teachings to help you find the answers you're looking for. When you walk by faith, everything is going to be all right.